better, much tidier. The one thing I can't stand is leaving the place in a mess. Yes. And we've got a flan to boot. Can't we just eat it instead? Come on. Well, that's got all the loose ends tidied up at least. Does that mean the panic's over? Yep. Good. I like it when the panic's over. Mind you, we still don't know who stole Dan the Van's Grand's ruby in the first place. There's going to be some questions asked when they find out. Uh-oh. Panic on again. Not to worry. I've got a plan. And it's a very nice one as well. Here, you hold that. The back's playing up again. Hello. Hello. What's he say? I'm instructed to make sure you remain here. Instructed, eh? Well, I'm sorry, but we can't oblige. We've got to be somewhere else, you see. Yes. Now, if you'll just stand out of the way, we're coming through. Very little rascal, isn't he? Now, look here, my man. What's your name, by the way? <laughs> Liquidator 3. Can we call you Lick for short? <laughs> Negative. Very well. He's not moving, Paul. I'm not going to be dictated to by the likes of him. Now, stand out of the way. I'm coming through. <laughs> his feet for a tin man. So he saw us against the metal moron. Follow me. What? You're not seriously thinking about taking him on? It'll be no contest. I know, that's why I asked. We'll give him the old one too. Yeah, but what if he gives us the old three, four? Past, present and future exhibition. Perfect. Through here, Barry. Who would have thought there was another way out? Present and future exhibition tour starts shortly. Don't miss this wonderful spectacle. Paul! Paul! Forget it, Ron. Me. Well, I'm certainly not going to ask him. Oh. What are we going to do? We need help. You can say that again. Oh, there's somebody down there. Quick, get his attention. How? He'll never see us from up here. Give us a flag. You missed. Get him? Don't know, can't really see from here. One last go. That doesn't get his attention, nothing will. Quick wave, let him know what's going on. Go eat! Right. Where's he gone? Typical. Just like a boss. Oh, big and red, you mean? No, never one there when you want one. I don't understand it. He definitely saw us. He was waving back. Last time I saw somebody wave like that, they were holding an axe. Oh! Oh, ah! Oi, you! Sorry, can't stop. What about the robot? One thing at a time, Barry. What are you doing here? You should be on the display. <laughs> oh. Lost him. Hello. Hello. 
Hello. What have you been doing to my robot? We haven't been doing anything to it, but it's trying to do something to us. Besides, it's not your robot. It's out to get us. I think I can understand why. I haven't forgotten what happened in here. Paul was only trying to attract your attention. Well, you've got it. And we've got his. And we got lost. People have been telling us that for years. I wish we'd listen to them now. <laughs> There's no way out. I know there isn't. But now that I've got your attention, I'd like to discuss the matter of my hat and a certain fruit flan. What are you doing here? I'll give you two guesses. Hiding from a robot? Got it in one. I've got a surprise for you. He's outside. Well, what did you bring him in here for? I didn't. He just tagged along. Well, what are we going to do? Shh, I'm thinking. Do you know, I think he just lacks affection. That's all we need, a robot psychiatrist. Any sensible ideas? Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Uh-oh. Uniform shrinks, there'll be questions asked. Run! Ah! Time I wasn't here. I've got an exhibition to run. While you've been busy panicking, I've been having a scientific observation. Oh, yes? Yes. I think I've spotted his Achilles heel. Do you really think this is the time to be talking about his footwear? Nothing to do with his footwear. It's his soft spot. I think if we stay perfectly still, he'll not be able to see us. So you're saying if we stay absolutely still, it will come to no harm? Exactly. Now's your chance to find out. Please. <laughs> Oops. Well done. You want? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a bit of a hectic day. Welcome to the past, present, and future exhibition. I don't want you in here. Clear off. And no slacking. Oh, not you, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm, I'm very sorry. What I should have said is, would you like to follow me and walk this way, please? This is the last chance to see this particular display, as it's to be melted down later today. It's the scene most remembered from the Battle of Trafalgar, where Admiral Lord Nelson was lying on the deck. He turned to Captain Hardy and uttered the immortal words. Excuse me a moment, I'll be right back. Aha! I thought I told you two to clear off. We were just going. Good. And where's your metal friend? There! Run! Right! I've had enough of this. This'll do nicely. <laughs>
done it. What do you mean you've done it? Well, you did, but you couldn't have done it without my assistance. Without your assistance, I don't think we'd be in this mess in the first place. Don't be... Freeze! Hold it right there. Oh, I knew you'd see sense. <laughs> oh, so that's what's wrong. I'll make sure you behave yourself once and for all. <laughs> needed was a bit of affection, didn't I? Oh, act nonchalant, Barry. Acting nonchalant it is, Captain. 